So, Kate Coyle came about when I decided that I wanted a sexy snake character. The original design for Kate was a pale green uh, scale color with darker green diamonds. But, um, and I forget exactly how this happened, but I know that the second time I had her drawn, and this was literally the second time that this character had seen any kind of artwork, I decided I wanted uh, to try a different, a different look to it. So she became a brownish snake with dark brown hair. And, you know, it might have been uh, based on an actual picture or something. I don't really remember. But I, when I saw the second design, it just clicked. And I think it's one of the few cases that I can recall where one of my character's appearances has changed from their initial iteration. Because, you know, most of the time, whenever I get this picture in my head for how a character is supposed to look and I get... Uh, it done from an artist usually that's that's how it stays with rare exception and you know I can only think of two or three cases in which I've uh, had the design changed because of something I saw later or a look I just liked and um, Kate was one of them Kate was uh, you know definitely a lot different in the second iteration um, nothing, you know, there's nothing wrong with the first one, but just the second one just truly clicked with my brain, and I really just liked the way that the second one came out in, a, you know, a different way. It just responded with me, resonated with me a lot more. Now, uh, with Kate, I'd always decided that she was going to be a sassy and a flirty kind of character. She's one of the few characters of mine that was designed with an overt sexuality to her character. Um, you know, a lot of my characters, I think, are, are sexy, uh, but uh, she was one of the ones that was really intentionally d designed that way. And uh, Kate has bounced around various settings over the years. Uh, I put her in a couple of different ideas, which, you know, I wasn't exactly sure where she fit, but she didn't really come together until I paired her with Lucy, uh, my female wolf, and kind of stuck them together as a couple. You know, once I do remember, I broke them apart and put them in separate settings, but it just it just never worked, and they always just seemed like they worked better as a pair because you know Kate was the the bold and flirty character, Lucy is the shy and somewhat uncertain uh, one in their relationship, but when put together, each of them had a crucial element that the other lacked, which I think is the ideal setup for you know two co two characters that are intended to be together, like Lucy and Kate. And so they just kind of completed each other in, in more ways than one. And I always thought that that really was just, you know, if they're going to be in anything, they need to be together in this. And, um, and eventually I concluded, as I worked out their backstory, uh, that Kate was a con artist with a little bit of a conscience. And after she meets Lucy, she becomes fiercely protective of her. So, you know, Kate, uh, it's like she knows a lot of different elements of the con game thanks to her her rather unusual upbringing but you know she's never uh, despite her, her uh, back story with her mother she's never really become the kind of person that in you know intentionally tries to hurt people with her cons and you know I, I kind of reminded of, of uh, the show leverage when I think of Kate because that's kind of what Kate does you know she would use her cons for helping people instead of getting you know gaining for herself or things like that and uh, the costume itself was created by Hindpaws and I'd initially uh, proposed the idea to Latin Vixen from Mixed Candy Productions but at the time the idea was rejected for being too complex but it ended up being a little bit of a happy accident because that was how I got the Topaz fursuit and um, Kate basically consists of two major components. The bodysuit, which has the breasts and the tail included. Uh, they slip over the undersuit, and it has a heavy-duty zipper in the back. When I first received the suit at Texas Fur Fiesta, I was concerned that the zipper that was originally provided wasn't going to be strong enough because I usually like my costumes to be pretty durable. And admittedly, the fabric is, is you know, light, which I wanted. But, you know, I was, I was just concerned about the zipper, so it needed also some other modifications. But I asked them to replace the zipper with a stronger zipper so um, it would be more stable. And also the feet required modification as I don't remember if whether it was my uh, fault or his 
but I recall that the, there was uh, padding on the feet. And given that I wanted to wear uh, heels with Kate, the padding was going to be getting in the way of that. So I asked him to redo the feet so that they had no padding and I could just wear normal off-the-shelf heels. Uh, if she wears a skirt, usually it slips on under the tail, and for the most part, a lot of Kate's wardrobe is off the rack kind of stuff, because there's not much to her other than my actual body shape. And, you know, for her tops and dresses are generally silky, flashy, sultry. Her fashion language is definitely different than most of my other girls. A lot of Kate's wardrobe really, uh, the other ones can't really share that much because, you know, Kate occupies a different area of the fashion spectrum than most of the other ones who are basically a lot more like me. A lot of my girls are pretty conservative with what they wear and uh, there's cases like Lexi where she just kind of has a quote-unquote look that I just sort of keep going with. But insofar as, as Kate, she definitely is one of the ones that's more likely to wear something satin, something flashy, something silky, you know, things like that. And, uh, you know, with Kate, I usually wear uh, my uh, one of my common sets of black heels which you know I usually like a certain type of heel which is uh, low and thick uh, you know the heel isn't too tall isn't too thin and you know nice and thick straps for stability so that would be Kate Coyle and I will catch you guys later thanks for watching and if you liked it click the subscribe button and leave a comment below you can also find me on Twitter and a few other places on the web or support me via Patreon or Ko-fi. Zebra hugs!